Hi guys, it's Kayla, and welcome back to Dangerous Relationship. Last time we left off with Subaru breaking in on Ryohei and R's shoot, so let's see what happens this episode in For Eternity. Sounds intense. He dragged me out into the darkened nighttime streets. Where are you taking me? I asked, making Subaru stop in his tracks. Sorry I pulled you out of work, and for dragging you out like that. My work was already over anyways, it's just, that was really rude of Ryohei. Why do you care? Do you like him? His grip on my arm tightened, cutting off blood circulation in my arm. Jeez. Huh? I had a bad feeling ever since I talked to him yesterday. It sounded like he's into you, and I wouldn't be surprised if you felt that way about him either. Just thinking about you two together and falling in love makes me sick. I had to come stop it. That's why I ran here as fast as I could. Subaru wasn't serious about me, so what excuse did he have to get in the way in the first place? I work with Ryohei. It's nothing more and nothing less than that. He released his iron grip on my arm. You and I were only dating to finish your song. I've already said that I'm done with you. Oh my gosh, we're so mean. It's none of your business who I talk to anymore. I'm not done with you, though. I'm sick and tired of pretending to be lovers. What do you care? I'm no use to you anymore. It's not about that. Our voices crashed and roared as the argument heated up. It is, though. Isn't that why we started dating to begin with? I know, but you're too nice a person to refuse in the first place. I shouldn't have put you through all this. Then why did you? Can't you see? He grabbed my wrist and stared deeply into my eyes. No, I can't. You're risking so much by dating me anyway. If it gets found out, your career is done for. As much as I used it as a point, I set it to convince myself it was too dangerous to continue. I don't care about all that. He screamed, voice tearing through the night. Subaru lunged towards me and pulled me into his arms. I'm serious. His voice trembled weakly and I barely heard it, though he was whispering right into my ear. Music and my career? It means nothing to me if I can't love you. What was he trying to say? He loved me? In what way? What do you mean by that? Hey, isn't that Ryo over there? What's he doing here? Attracted by our screaming match, some people turned their heads towards us to investigate. Subaru! It'll be bad if we stay here, come on. He took my hand in his and we hurried away from that scene. Okay. I scrambled to keep up with him, but his legs were much longer than mine. Look, it's Ryo! Who is that girl he's with? Hearing the curious voices of people passing by, I feared this might become a huge incident. Subaru! Let's go back to our place. Shouldn't we hide at my place? That would be our best option right now, but you don't mind? Subaru asked a bit reluctantly. It's fine. He looked extremely relieved to hear that. Thanks for letting me go back there again. Squeezing my hand, he gave me a gentle smile. Slam. We could finally catch our breath after slamming the door behind us. It smells like you in here. I'm glad to be back. I was worried sick that I might not ever get to see you again. He released my hand and looked straight into my eyes. I'm sorry I ever made you cry. I'm sorry for ever loving you. Why would you apologize for something like that? To love should be a wonderful thing. So why did his eyes look so sad? If you don't want me anymore, just say it and I won't bother you again. But at least let me tell you how I really feel. This is not about music at all. I truly love you from the bottom of my heart. But then why? I clenched my hand and formed a fist, so emotional that it trembled at my side. Why didn't you say so when I asked? Why didn't you tell me then? Before, I had tired of pretending to be lovers and asked if he really had feelings for me. At that time, he couldn't give me a straight answer, instead fumbling for words. If he had said something to me then, I never would have told him I wanted to break up. I hadn't grasped my own feelings then, and I wasn't thinking straight. Plus, if I had said that then, I was afraid that you might leave me. What? Why? It would have been the opposite. Why? Because there's nothing good that comes out of dating me. I can't take you on normal dates and we have to avoid people all of the time. The media finds out the consequences will be brutal even for you. You agreed only to date me until I finished with the song, right? You kept saying things like you were ready to get out of the relationship. I never imagined he would think I meant it in that way. I was afraid you would reject me if I asked for anything more than what we had. It's the complete opposite! What do you mean? He stared back at me with wide eyes. I'm the one that was afraid. I thought you were only using me to finish your song and nothing else. I thought once it was over, you would leave me high and dry and never see me again. Wait, are you telling me? Are you telling me you have feelings for me too? He asked incredulously. Yes, I'm really in love with you. Slowly, I nodded my head. I've loved you and pretending every day to be lovers has been so hard for me. 
I had to be at your side, always knowing that the end was slowly approaching. The more I was with you, the more I loved you, and the more it hurt to think about losing you. I'm sorry. His arms pulled me close into his chest. You were right here in front of me, but I never realized how you were feeling inside. We thought the same way about each other, but we never knew. His voice and arms trembled slightly as he held me. I was afraid of losing you too. The more I was with you, the more the song pieced itself together, but the last bit, it just never came to me. I thought if I just felt more of you that it would come to me, but I was wrong. He let me go and looked down into my eyes. I couldn't finish the song because I was afraid of losing you. Taking my hand in his palm, he kissed the back of it. I didn't want what we had to end. You and I... We were just too afraid to. We're just like each other. You're right. Subaru smiled back at me. Our hearts must be alike. That must be why we came together and fell in love. You and I, we should have just said what was on our minds. We could have avoided all of this. I know, I wish I could go back in time and tell myself that, but I heard some artists fall in love just for work and dump their lovers right after. I thought, I thought you were one of those people. I would never, but I can see why you might have thought that. Subaru scratched his cheek as if uncomfortable. And the owner said something like that too, that you go and experience things just to write your songs. It made it seem like you might ditch me too. I... He looked away, unsure of how to respond. Well, that's... It's... Subaru was having trouble getting words out. Do I have to tell you about that? If it was this difficult to say, he must not want me to know about it. Is it some sort of secret? Not quite a secret, but it's just lame if you hear it. I figured it must be something about his love life. No, I can do this. I'll say it. Just don't look at me like that. The dubious look I gave him might have put him off. He led me into the living room sofa where we sat down next to each other. This all happened way back in the past. He began telling me about his experiences he drew inspiration from for his songs. I entered a marathon just to feel what it's like to be a runner. That one wasn't so bad. I went and rode a roller coaster to see how it feels to blast through the air. I once broke my one and only guitar to try and be an outlaw, worked my butt off to buy another. I stuffed all my belongings in one bag and started wandering until I fainted in the street. It's all just stupid, embarrassing stuff I've done. Hearing all of that was a bit unexpected, but it wasn't embarrassing as he made it out to be. Terrible, isn't it? I bet you think I'm an idiot now. He's so cute. I think it's cute. Uh-huh, cute, you said? Knowing that there's a part of you like that makes me feel closer to you. Really? Well, okay. Subaru let out a huge sigh, relieved that I hadn't judged him for what he'd done in the past. Ah, uh, you see, when I'm around you, I'm always trying to look cool. I'm not that easy to keep up in appearance. A bitter smile pulled at his lips. I feel stupid, I should have just trusted you and sat down and had a talk with you. And I'm sorry for thinking you were the kind of person that would just use me. Our eyes met and we chuckled at each other, and right then, ring, his phone began to ring. Huh? Ryohei's calling me? Both him and I least expected the phone call to be from Ryohei. I clutched at Subaru's arm a bit nervous to know why. You wanna hear? Yeah. I'll put it on speaker. He laid his phone down on the table and pressed the button so I could hear too. Hello? Subaru? It's Ryohei. Yeah? Is she with you? She's here. So you two are dating after all. Are you sure you aren't just playing around? I'm not. I wouldn't do that to her. Really? It's hard for me to believe that. You seem like the kind of guy who puts music before everything in his life. I can't imagine you throwing your passion for music aside and falling in love. My music isn't going anywhere, it's in my blood. No matter what happens, I'll never give up. So why did you stop in the first place? Because the lyrics weren't coming to me. Subaru told Ryohei about taking a break and dating me to get inspiration for his new song. At first, we were dating just for the song, but it turned into something different. With his eyes still focused on the phone, he reached over and laid his hand on top of mine. I fell in love with her soon after we met. She's the whole reason the song came to me. It was her that made me see it was a love song. But back then, I still hadn't realized I loved her and ended up hurting her. He withdrew his hand and wrapped it around my palm, joining our fingers and squeezing tight. I didn't know my own feelings until we broke up. But I'll never let her go now. I know better. She's invaluable to me. I need her for my music. No, I need her for my life. I can't imagine a life without her. In her, I found my one and only true love. So you aren't gonna break up with her? No. Then what if... What if someone leaked your relationship to the media? I wondered how Subaru would deal with that. If that's what your plan is, go ahead and do it. His plan was to do nothing? Subaru smiled at me as if to calm my fear. There's nothing wrong with our love. True love makes the spirit shine brighter. My fans will understand that if they just listen to my music. We'll see about that. I'll keep your secret for now, at least until I hear your song. If it doesn't leave an impact on me then, feel free to do whatever you want. Can I talk to her? 
Ryohei was asking about me. Well, closing his hands over the microphone, Subaru asked me in a quiet voice. I still felt like I should apologize to Ryohei for leaving him suddenly during work. With that in mind as well, I nodded. All right. Hello? I'm sorry for running out on you back at the studio. Don't worry about it. I said some pretty cruel things to you. I had no idea you guys both had feelings for each other. Still, that doesn't change my opinion about what I said. It's dangerous for anyone to be a star, even you. I didn't argue him there. Ryohei had a perfectly valid point for opposing our relationship. You won't be able to hide backstage anymore. People will criticize and mock you to no end. Can you even handle that? <sighs> Subaru looked at me, his face full of concern. This was my choice, and a danger I may have to live with. I took a deep breath and squeezed his hand. <sighs> I'm willing to take that risk. You're strong, or is it your feelings for him that have made you strong? Ryohei chuckled from the other side of the phone. <laughs> well, you don't have to worry about the outfit. I cleaned everything up at the studio. Thank you. You helped me once, I'm returning the favor. But just so you know, if his song doesn't do it for me, since I don't support your relationship. His voice spoke menacingly through the phone. I could tell Ryohei was serious about his threat. Don't worry about that. Our love is going to make the greatest song you've ever heard. Subaru, you heard that? It was on speakerphone. You should have told me that. Sorry, my bad. You haven't changed, even if you are in love. Ryohei sighed and I pictured him rolling his eyes. We'll see if your song is as good as you say it is. With that, he hung up the phone. I'm glad he's not going to say anything. Yeah, but what he said is right. If you consider the risks in your future, it's not worth dating me. But you still say you want to? Of course. Yes. Thank you. I love you. Subaru leaned in and kissed my cheek. No. What? His eyes shot open with surprise. Even if I said that, I know you aren't going to take no for an answer anyway. So that's what you meant. Jeez, you scared me. Sorry, I wanted to see your reaction. Don't joke with me like that. You'll give me a heart attack. But you're right. I'd attack and convince you no matter how many times it takes. You don't have to. I already love you. Squeezing me tightly with his arms, Subaru's cheeks tinted slightly red. Good. His eyes drifted down to my neck. You're still wearing it. I, uh, embarrassed, I tried to cover it with my hands. I just couldn't take it off. That's how much it meant to you, hmm? He tugged my hand away from my neck. Why don't you try putting the ring on? While I had faithfully kept the necklace on at all times, I had never before worn the ring. Okay. When I nodded, Subaru slid the tiny ring off of the silver chain on the necklace. The small platinum ring framed a sparkling diamond that glittered in the light. May I? Subaru slipped off the sofa and knelt on the ground. Um, my lady, your hand, please. He gently took my hand and beamed a glorious smile at me. I promise that forevermore I will protect you at all costs. The ring slid smoothly onto my ring finger, and then, I swear that my love for you will be everlasting. He kissed the finger, now adorning the ring. Ah, uh, my heart was pounding so fast I didn't know what to do. And you? Um, will you give me your love? Yes, it's like we're getting married. Then place your blessing on me. He tapped his finger on his smirking lips. I promise. I felt so embarrassed with them staring at me like that, it was almost impossible to speak. I promise to love you forever. After speaking my pledge, I closed my lips and eyes and moved towards him. Mm. I was going to kiss him, but he pushed forward, closing on my lips before I had the chance. Mm. Wrapping his arms around me, he pressed his lips tightly against mine. Subaru! Sorry, I jumped the gun. And I can't wait any longer. Okay, I'll let you guys read the rest of this part.
Okay guys, what a cute ending to the chapter. I hope you guys are ready for the next one and we'll see what challenges come with our new relationship. And thank you for watching. Bye!